In this video, we're going to take a quick look at a few new features in Monocle. So let's check them out. All right, so I'm just in Revit 2023 with Dynamo 2.13. As a reminder, Monocle works in Dynamo Sandbox, Dynamo for Revit, Dynamo for Civil 3D, and pretty much anything that can load Dynamo. Uh, once you install Dyn um, Monocle from the package manager, it is available under its own menu item. And this is where one of the first changes takes place. We now have a node identifiers menu. Previously, this was just called custom node highlighting. So if you don't know, in Monocle, if we place a custom node from any custom package and we go to the enable highlighting, it will highlight custom nodes for you with the red border. So that's one of the things Monocle has done for quite a while. So that's still in there, but we have an additional item in here now to identify inputs. So in Dynamo, we have the option to have a few different input types for things like Dynamo player or generative design. And if we go ahead and mark one of these nodes as input, there's directly, there's no direct way to really see which one's input right now. So if you were to use the node identifier the input identifier, it will kind of shake it around to show you that it is an input. So it's kind of a fun way to do it. And it does have a keyboard shortcut of control alt I to identify your inputs. So that's now in the package. If you connect this to another node, it doesn't break anything or anything like that. And you're good to go. The more inputs you mark, it will start to kind of identify those in that manner for you. So once again, kind of a fun way to do it, but uh, it is in there now. In the future, I will probably add the ability to do this with coloring. So you can always do that. All right. And an another feature that's been available in Monocle for a very long time, I'm currently on run automatic for this, but if you have a categories node and you select something, you are able to convert that into a code block variant if you don't want to leave the category node in place because it can change between versions. Uh, there was an issue that if you are in run manual mode, so let's go ahead and copy this. Whenever you're in run manual, this node's technically null. It's not fulfilled or doing anything. So if you were to select the converter, it wouldn't tell you what's going on. It would just fail. So now it will actually highlight the node with a warning telling you, hey, this node has no data. Please run the graph and try to convert the node again. So we'll run it and now we can convert it. So that's something else that's available in the package now as well. If you press shift space on your keyboard, you actually get the in canvas search for simple search available to you. So you can kind of arrow through and place nodes as well. Um, so that's available in there. You can disable it if you'd like. But other than that, those are the big changes right now for Monocle. Uh, a few bug fixes, a few other general bug fixes as well that are just bundled in there. Uh, but the big one is the input identifier. So if we run it again real quick and the categories converters now working uh, by prompting you to fix the situation if something was going wrong. So there you have it, an uh, installed monocle through the package manager. It is open source. I'll link that below. And yeah, thanks for checking out this video. We'll see you in the next one.